Thank you for the introduction, Dominique. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Elżbieta Godlewska. Uh, I'm sorry I don't speak Czech, but I, I hope English is fine. Um, so today I would like to talk about uh, FOSS communities and uh, how to get a profession from a passion. Okay, so let's start maybe to, if we talk about FOSS, we need to clarify what FOSS is exactly. Probably many of you know, but maybe, so just a little reminder. Free and open source software. Uh, free, many times it makes, makes think about uh, free of cost, which is not exactly the, um, the meaning. Free in free and open source software is free to run, free to study and analyze and change as we wish, and free to make copies and distribute them so we can help others. And also free to distribute copies of the modified version to others. Open source software here means technical aspect, which has this, the, the source open to everyone. So many times to avoid confusion, free is used and as, as a liber, liber, free and liber and open source so software. And um, to, to maybe to make difference between free and liber software and open source software, there are two political movements, quite different actually, because one focus on technical part and the other or more, let's say, ideological part of the open source, the, of the software. Just a quick little bit uh, confused, but it may be just to show how it works. So in społeczność, it's uh, well in Polish, I'm sorry, but it's more or less similar as in Czech, społeczeństwo. So you can see right in the middle. That's because that's probably the most important part of the, the concept of free and open source software. What is a community? Community is when we share and uh, certain attitude, attitudes and interests we have in common. Probably you heard about communities such as Parod, OS, LibreOffice, DevOps, Linux Professional Institute, maybe you are familiar with, maybe not. I will just tell a few words, not, not much, as it's just one of the examples of for, uh, for in open source communities. Parrot, uh, it's a worldwide community of developers. It was born in, in Cuba, actually. Developers and security professionals who work together to create a set of tools uh, to make work easier, standardized and re reliable and more secure. So Parrot, OS, it's the flagship product of Parrot Security. It's a Debian-based um, distribution designed with security and privacy. So it includes a full portable lab for all kinds of security operations and from pen testing to digital forensic and, and reverse engineering. But also it includes uh, everything that you need to develop your own software and secure data. So if you're interested, it's really, it's, it's good to know. There is um, internationalization effort uh, right now and uh, Linux Professional Institute is working closely with them to set up uh, maybe um, an exam and, and uh, certification to standardize the skills in, uh, in security. LibreOffice, it's a very popular office package, which is still actively develop, developed, improved and distributed. And it's a really great example of a community because then really a group of people, involved people work together to make things happen. It's testers, translators, locators, like to locate into local languages and volunteers who provide support to users, designers, and people from marketing. And it's actually true that many people moved online documents, uh, spreadsheets and presentation, but there is still a significant number of people 
especially in developing countries in Asia and in Africa, who use and rely on this, uh, this kind of office automation for both for, for work and for education. DevOps. Uh, the term DevOps was, uh, was born um, now, now more than 10 years ago, but it's really very, very thrilling, active and growing community. And uh, actually, that's the, the, the community that uh, adopted, uh, let's say, the, in the fastest way, the remote way of working with the pandemic. And uh, but I know you here in, in Czech Republic, you have a very active also DevOps, DevOps um, community. And to give you an example, uh, how how we as Linux Progression um, Institute worked with the com community. So when uh, the exam DevOps exam was released or before it was released by Linux Progression Institute, we had consultation with DevOps community. All people, all volunteers, they could um, actually give feedback and and provide thoughts about how it should be done. Like what should be in such a exam and in 2018 just before the release of the, of the exam we had uh, beta exams for the community free of costs so it's another example of of working with the community uh, quickly about linux profession institute uh, we actually we are we are an organization like many years 25 years ago uh, born to to set up standard in in education and certification but actually now we are moving into membership organization which means that um, if people from community are volunteers or participate in open source project it counts for them to maintain the active certification status and within uh, uh, the organization, we have different uh, initiatives for community. Like one of them, uh, one of one of it is learning. Learning um, was uh, actually born to develop learning materials uh, distributed for, uh, co uh, free of cost for everyone, for for all the community, and uh, to. To produce the, 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 the learning materials, we also work with the community. Like uh, recently in, in Poland, we actually contacted community and we got volunteers to translate uh, the materials into the local language. And all the learning materials are done this way. So we need uh, actually, and we work with authors, with people with, um, with translators, local localators, and so on. And uh, also the same with all other languages, so also Czech. So we are now working to get more people involved from, from Czech Republic to, to work on learning materials. In the same with the translation, translation on the website and translation of the materials, we, we really w work with the community. Uh, also the blog we have on the website, uh, any community member who has a story to tell is really welcome to send us um the te the text and so we re we really like to 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 work with uh, with community this way and the same in events events we organize well, now it's a little bit more complicated with the pandemic and uh, all the online events but usually we count on volunteers also to help um during the events to be on the stand and to 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 inform people so yeah that's the small penguin so that's the community we are really proud of and Czech Republic and this event uh, open art is a typical also example of, of, of a community initiative and this one and uh, Linux days uh, annually uh, like install fest and devconf in in Brno so those are really great examples of how the community work together to organize an event and and to, to talk about in Topics actually interesting for, for, for all of us. GitLab, GitHub, probably you know, you are familiar with these um, repositories. And it's very funny because it's, it's increasingly now companies are looking at projects that people upload on those repositories much more than to look at on, on CVs. If you look at the list of top 10 open source projects 
you see big names names on them okay i, I agree those microsoft facebook are, are not really uh, open source companies even if they try to to prove you know differently but if you look at on at the, those websites so you will see the the open source initiatives and projects they have within the companies so now what we can do with this list so our recommendation um look at the projects the big companies are involving involved in think look at them and and see which technologies you should invest your time in like look at the first one visual studio code it's integrated graphic environment that can you can use to create so solution in different programming languages you should learn one or more programming languages as well Think about using frameworks that allow you to create solutions for multiple devices. So do, do not focus on one device. Study React, Angular, and TypeScript. You can see them on the list. And pay attention to the third position on the list, TensorFlow. It's a Google platform for machine learning. It's very important to study machine learning. Then you have on the list Ansible. It's a Kubernetes Linux tool, which is deeply embedded in DevOps culture where everything is automated. So do familiarize yourself with DevOps. And it's not only in, in ICT. So we do, do not um, limit yourself to the ICT industry because we are not talking only about computers and software. We are talking about what you need to learn and what you need to learn is how to solve problems and understand the problem is the, the, what we need. You can see many areas such as uh, communication, medicine, tourism, entertainment, and not only games. Those are major consumers of technology and still need solutions to be developed and a lot of them. Learn to think in group. You may already have understood that if you hide your ideas, you will not create anything that you will make you a millionaire. Because like millionaires are not many and sorry, maybe you, one of you will be and hopefully it will be like this, but, but like statistically speaking, it's very difficult. To go back to the topic, okay, how could we learn with false communities and how to turn a passion into a profession? So you all know this guy, Linus Torvalds, the one who created Linux many years ago. And so you can see it's a typical example of how he turned the passion into a profession. So he started, he just invented the Linux because he, he, he didn't like anymore or just got, got, uh, got tired of all programs existing. So he, he just invited, invented a, a new program and, and you know, at university and, uh, and he was working actually very, at very early age. And so what was a passion in the beginning now is a job for really millions of people. So you can just only find data, like companies, open source companies right now and open source professionals needed on the market. So what began as a passion of one, one guy now is a profession for really many, many people. Yeah, you can see it's from 2018, but you can see uh, the, the hiring managers they look to recruit in the following areas. The most 80% Linux and probably we're in 2021, but probably it didn't change so much. And then you have cloud and security, web technologies, networking and containers. So many other technologies also include open source, source technologies. So for me, it's, um, it's now uh, I'm more or less done. I would like to thank you very much. 
I hope it was clear and I hope you liked. And if you have any questions, please just, I'm here. So please just let me know. You have some question people you can ask. It's a unique, uh, unique chance. Um, how? Sh what should I do? Sorry. Uh, ask questions. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Are there so, any so, questions? So, some, someone is typing. We will see. Okay, how to become a member of LPI community and what are requirements? Uh, usually, uh, you should have a LPI certification, so you should um, you should have passed exam and have certification, even if it's long time ago, if it's still not active. And there is a website, lpi.org um, membership. And you just need to register. If uh, if you have already a certification, so you probably have your LPI ID, so it's it's much easier. And requirements, yeah, um, it, it it works now with PDUs, which like you you get points. So you get get points for if you have certification, LPI certification. You got you get points if you participate in in open source project something you can show like on git hoop for example and also if you if you volunteer if you write articles about open source so you get points for everything and so you have a number of points to become member I don't know if I have answered your question correctly. It's uh, it's still new. We we launched um, the membership last year, in actually in in, in the pandemics, but uh, but actually it's very interesting because you can keep your certification active by the points you get as member of the community. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? I don't know if you you are of course free to contact me anytime. You can probably Google Google me and find me. There are also contact details on the slides, so I'm not sure if uh, the slides will be available after after the the conference, Dominic. Yes, it will. It will be. Also, you can uh, send your email to the chat, please. For, okay. For people who want to copy it. I also invite you to, to follow us on, on Twitter, LP in Poland. Okay. So we are, my, I always post in, in, in like important information about new releases, new products, or when we, when we update the certification or events we do, we, events we participate in. Okay. And just send me email. Okay. And what do you like the most about Linux? Sorry? What do you like the most about Linux? Uh, me personally? Yes, your person personally. It's uh, reliability. It's much more secure than, you know, and Microsoft, you don't have to wait for updates and, and, and so, and so security, reliability. 
And the ideology, I must admit, I'm I'm more from the movement of ideology than from the technical aspect because I I have to admit I'm not the technical person. So about the movement, and it's really amazing how people with uh, a common passion can get together, like you know, like at, at this at this event, those events like this. I, I don't think there, there there are other communities able to do this. You know, because the people, you know, they just get together. Okay, let's organize an event to promote Linux, to promote open openness and freedom. And, you know, suddenly you have a lot of people and they, they just do this, you know, in, 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 in their free time, actually. So that's, that's the, the good part for me, apart from the technical aspect, of, of course. So I see that Linux is power. Mm, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much for your presentation. It was very interesting. Uh, do you want to say something uh, to our people at the end of your presentation? Some interesting uh, minds, what do you have? Mm, yeah, I, I would like to encourage you to, to think about, about this. Uh, I, I believe all of you are interested in, 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 in being a part of of, uh, of a community because you are attending this event, which is great. But then if you uh, please just look um, more closely at uh, what a Linux Professional Institute is doing, okay? How we can help, how, how you can work with us. Because as I explained, we always look for volunteers uh, and for people to, to, you know, to share um, something interesting, to send, uh, an article for the blog telling the experience what is linux for me like share us if uh, if you think the linux is power and you, if you have got ex experience with it how linux changed your life so please just contact me and and you can write and we will post it because we always look for 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 like enthusiastic people you know to 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 share this their stories and also, yeah, we look for for people to translate the the learning materials. And Linux Essentials, a big one for, you know, uh, to translate into Czech. So those materials are available for everyone from the community. And so we always are really very, very thankful to the people who are collaborating on this. So, yeah, please just let me know, okay? Okay, so if you want to write to Elisbieta, email and... Thank you very much. Uh, oh, thank a, you. Uh, have a nice day. Okay, thanks, Sharas. <laughs> bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye. Takže to byla naše poslední přednáška a tímto tímto to tady ukončujeme a zítra nás ček. Pokud ještě máte čas, tak jo, ostatní treky ještě jedou. Máme tu nějakou party, kterou jsem viděl. Fedora release party, takže se na ní můžete i podívat. Je to na treku 3. A jinak se uvidíme zítra. Tak jo, mějte se hezky a pěknou zbytek soboty.